Hello, this is Dr. Alan Wegg with OCD tip number 16, anthropomorphication. To anthropomorphize means to give human qualities to something that isn't human. So if I say my car is being temperamental, she's not turning over this morning, well my car is not a she and it's not being temperamental, it's a car. Animated Walt Disney movies anthropomorphize many things and animals, giving them human personalities and characteristics. When we anthropomorphize OCD, we serve to separate it from the person who has OCD. Now, I'm not saying or suggesting that the person with OCD has multiple personalities or anything like that. It's just a way of conceptualizing the experience of OCD. What we do sometimes uh, with kids and even with adults is we draw a picture of the OCD or name the OCD. It could be a boy, a girl, a man, a woman, a monster, an alien, whatever. Uh, we try to conceptualize it as a sort of bully in your head. And this is a way, again, of changing the way in which we relate to the OCD. And there's some real advantages to this, this idea of having this bully in your head, uh, in terms of treatments and the way that we conceptualize the experience of having OCD. By objectifying the OCD in this way, there are many results. Uh, one in particular is a shift in family dynamics. So a lot of times people come in and the family members are very angry at the person with OCD. It's really them against this person. They argue, they fight, there's a lot of disagreement and tension around the OCD symptoms. By uh, anthropomorphizing and objectifying the OCD, there's a shift. Now it's the person with OCD, their family members, their therapist, all on one side against the OCD, which is on the other side. Anthropomorphication of OCD also allows the person to feel less shame and guilt and experience more empowerment and independence. It doesn't mean that they could just say, well, it's not my fault, the OCD made me do it. The person still is responsible for needing to manage their OCD and get control of their lives, but it does help them still make this separation in terms of their own self-esteem and experience of self. In many ways, anthropomorphication helps a person change the way they think about having their obsessions or engaging in treatments. So if they have an obsession, they can sort of imagine it as the OCD bully whispering in their ear, well, what, about, what happens if this happens? Or what about this? Or you need to do this in order to be safe. Threatening them, trying to control them. And when they engage in exposure response prevention, this is their way of sort of standing up for themselves, drawing a line in the sand and saying, no, you can't make me. And they're essentially engaging in dialogue or really attacking the OCD with your exposure therapy. This is Dr. Alan Wegg. See you next time on OCD Tips.